for people to hear the best hip hop, they had to come to us. Every time y'all came on, we knew it was coming. So all we would do is just wait. They on, they on. Peace, my name is Bobito Garcia, AK Cool Bob Love. I'm a DJ and filmmaker. So yeah, we gonna go a little, little from it is uh, the B.I.G. This is all live, New York. I was born in 1966. I feel like that's a blessing. I also got to see the emergence and the early burgeoning uh, culture of hip hop as it formed in New York City. Growing up, you know, I was just a, a fan basically of hip hop culture. And then I graduated from Wesleyan University in 1988. And a year later, I landed a job at Def Jam Records. And so it was a learning experience and it was a transition, particularly when I had the opportunity to become part of a landmark radio show in 1990 with my friend DJ Stretch Armstrong. We started a WKCR 89.9 FM. Yo, this the big motherfucking Illmatic Nas. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, the album getting ready to come out in January. The name of that is Illmatic. At that point in time, your show was the most important show in the world. And from there, I became not just a fan and a person in the industry, but now an actual voice. We were being broadcast into your homes, but really, you were coming into our world. I don't know is where you ran or came. I know your vein, I hate your name. Yeah, we smashed New York radio to the point where we had to do a film about it 25 years later, celebrating the history and the impact of the show. First time I heard Protect Your Net on y'all show, I might have jumped half my height. <laughs> So from 1990 to 1998, Shetch and I produced this radio show, which introduced the world to an unsigned Nas, Biggie, Wu-Tang, Mob Deep, Big Pun, Eminem. Introduced the world to an unknown and up and coming Jay-Z. Oh yeah, yeah, we're just in some stores, but once we lock this distribution thing down, it's gonna be an all store. Okay. Yeah, just got rap pick of the week. Uh, on what label? A Rockefeller record. The wild thing is that when we were on the air, it was a very innocent time. None of them had even put a record out yet. Most of them didn't even have a deal. So we were just creating what we wanted to be was a fun cassette to listen to the next day. We had no idea that 25 years later, we would be heralded as the best hip hop radio show of all time. Stretching Bobito, that was our dream. I think we made it. This is it. We've sold close to 20 million records, and you guys were the guys who lit the fires for us. Once the internet made music a lot more available and accessible to people, that helped some artists, but it hurt in another way too because we were like mentors, we were a filter, we were gatekeepers for quality. You guys had opened the door for us, the next generation, to come through. Our sincere hope is that people, A, just simply enjoy the film. It's funny, it's loose, it's got a lot of character, but that's the innocent hope. The greater hope is that it documents an era of radio, an era of hip hop that is, can never be replicated. It's not gonna ever happen again. The world has changed, the world has moved on. And so, truthfully, I really hope that people, just as a historical document, can appreciate the film for what it is and engage and be educated by it uh, for that value. We didn't care if you were signed or unsigned. Just create something that's special. Because this isn't for record sales, this isn't for the charts. This is hip hop. One, two, one, two, okay. <laughs> no need to ask my initial. LFP, 5D, most of